on 21st of March in 1923. Shri Ramakrishna Garu was born in a Telugu family that was settled for years in the islands of Bali. While Ramakrishna Garu's mother hailed from a village Kolanapaka in Telangana, his father belonged to Rajol in Andhra Pradesh. Having lost his mother at a very young age of three, Ramakrishna Garu grew up under Dai Pujariyamma's care. He was extremely inspired and influenced by Ramayanam, Bhagavatam and other historic and religious stories. His attention to detail and discipline is what he imbibed from his dear father. He was named Ramakrishna and his sister Sarada by his father as he was an ardent devotee of Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa and followed his footsteps and religious guidance. Ramakrishna Garu's primary education took place at Ramakrishna Mat in Chennai. He was highly influenced by the lives of Saswatanada Garu, Deena Bandhu Prabhakar Garu, Srimati Asha Devi Garu, among others. And this is what drove his motivation for becoming an epitome of arts, especially dance, thus touching many, many lives. His formal education in dance started with great teachers like Naidu Pet Rajamagaru, Meenakshi Sundaram Pillai Garu, and later he learnt Kathak in Nagpur as well. His performance at Nagpur Bandaru Samsthan brought him many accolades and the title Nataraj was presented to him on this auspicious occasion. After India got independence, Nataraj Ramakrishna Garu moved to the Andhra region. He performed at many places, not only to spread the awareness of the dance, but also worked to build acceptance and adoption of classical dance forms there. He then practiced dance extensively under the able tutelage of Vedantam Lakshmi Narayanagaru and Pendyala Satyavamagaru. Over a period of time, he established himself not only as a great dancer, but a guru and a research scholar in dance. It was during this period he was highly criticized and ridiculed for his efforts. He was told that there was actually no classical dance form that belonged to Telugu culture and people. This deeply hurt Ramakrishna Garu's feeling and offended him. He felt that this divine and godly art form deserved more acceptance and a higher place in Telugu society. He only became stronger and more determined to spread the art form. He did many, many lecture demonstrations, performances on Abhinaya at various universities and institutions across many villages, towns and cities in Andhra Pradesh at that time. As we all know, Kuchipudi, which was the then known dance form of Telugu people, was not recognized and promoted by the government. Ramakrishna Garu worked extensively towards making sure Kuchipudi got its due recognition through dance conferences, workshops, 
lecture demonstrations that he conducted. There was hardly any societal and financial support at the time and because of this the Nakto Mela dance styles were losing their presence in Telugu temples, courts and regions. At this time Ramakrishna Garu set out in collaboration with other female Nattuva Mela dancers and formed Andhanatyu that he actively started promoting at the same time. During this time, in the Godavari districts and related regions, Navajanardhana Parijatam found its place. Thanks to all the efforts from Ramakrishnakar. He also revived Perini Tandavam that saw its light during the Kakatiya dynasty in the 11th century. This is a beautiful gift from Ramakrishna Garu to the dancers community. His Abhinaya formations for Kshetraya Padams was highly admired and adopted by many dancers. He not only promoted classical dance forms, but many folk forms like Chindu Bhagavatam, Turpu Bhagavatam, Veeranatyam Garagalu, Tapeta Gullu, and many others were equally promoted and encouraged by him. Ramakrishna Garu's choreographic work was extraordinary. He choreographed many dance ballets like Sri Venkateswara Kalyanam, Kumara Sambhavam, Meghasandesam, etc. His choreographic work for Kumara Sambhavam won high recognition and a gold memorandum in Ujjain in 1964 at Kalidas Samaro. In 1975, he travelled to Russia and France to research and compare the Western and Indian folk dance forms. Andhra University later awarded him a doctorate for his work. Ramakrishna Garu also served as a dedicated dance teacher at Sri Sailam Devasthan and received due respect for his time and contribution. At Hyderabad Central University, he trained many dancers to become teachers and served as a mentor for the first batch of PhD students. Sri Nataraj Ramakrishna Garu authored many books on dance. Books like Nartana Bala, Nartana Bhumi, Nartana Katha were especially written for kids. And books like Dakshanarchula Natyakala Charitra, Perini Sivatandavam, Navajanathana Parjatam helped many dance lovers and teachers learn the nitty of the dance form and its historic importance. He dedicated his book Dancing Bells to Jawaharlal Nehrugaru. Ramakrishna Garu also served as a president in the Department of Dance for Andhra Pradesh Sangeetha Nataka Academy. He was awarded the title of Padma Shri by the Government of India as a recognition for his dedication and contribution in the field of dance. Among many other awards and titles, his Bharata Kala Prapurna title by Sangeet Natak Academy is very well known. Guru Garu dedicated his entire life in promoting dance forms and passed away at the age of 88 on 11th June at NIMS in Hyderabad. 
on this occasion of his ninth death anniversary as a part of smriti padam initiative by what devi arts academy we present our honorarium to the great soul and our guru nataraja ramakrishna garu